What was somewhat surprising to me in this report is that there's really now this definitive link between obesity, physical inactivity, and a number of cancers. We've actually known this now for a number of years from uh, multiple epidemiological studies, uh, both in looking at obesity as a risk factor, as well as, again, as a, uh, as a risk factor for worse outcomes. Um, what is uh, great to see is that there's now this this increased awareness in such a uh, high-profile study sponsored by uh, multiple uh, government organizations and foundations, uh, really showing this, this national trend. Um, what is, of course, very disturbing about this report is that we have an obesity epidemic in our country. What we really need to do is prevent cancer in the first place. And the American Cancer Society, and now this report, uh, shows that a large number of cancers could be prevented if people were physically active, maintained uh, a normal weight, and had proper diet and nutrition. And the American Cancer Society recommends that, that on average, 33% of cancers could be prevented just making those appropriate lifestyle choices. Of course, if you add smoking into the equation, it's another 30 to 35 percent of cancers that could be prevented. So all told, the message now is very clear that our behaviors and the choices that we make in our lives when it comes to our activity and the food we eat um, will influence our risk of cancer and cancer outcomes once we're diagnosed with cancer. So it's time for people to, to really take control uh, of their health and of their behavior, because that has implications not only for the individual's quality of life, but the quality of, of our country overall.